Happy Melly Monday! With last week's pillows completing the couch, I can now move upwards and repaint the garland like I promised in the first couch corner video. This is the picture frame garland in question, and as I said in the first video, I really like the concept of having what is essentially little picture frames on a string, but the colors don't quite fit in, so after I've removed them from the string, I'm giving them a base coat of white acrylic paint. I'm not concerned with the purple drawings getting paint on them, since they'll get removed afterwards, and for now they're protecting the inside of the picture frame from paint. Since the first coat isn't quite covering, I'll come back off camera and add more coats of paint. For the clips, I'll pin them to a piece of paper so I can hold them easier while painting. It is now three coats and several hours later, and the frames are white and dry, but quite warped due to the moisture in the paint, so I am pressing them overnight under a pile of random books. Now it is finally time to bring out my trusty watercolor set, especially these pink and purple, maybe the silver and a phantom glitter paint. For the base coat, I am just playing around with the colors to get different textures. So the first ones get just a wash of thinned down pink and purple paint, then some watercolors in pink, purple and in both, and the last three get some dry brushing in purple, pink and in a mixture of both. The clips just get various shades of pink and purple. Now I already know that I want some three dimensional butterflies on some of the frames, so on a white piece of cardboard I'm practicing butterfly shapes in various colors and sizes, so they may be used as the background colors later. I am also testing out the silver and glitter paints, but the silver is more of a grey and the glitter paint isn't very glittery. It also leaves behind a yellow residue, so I'll have to get some better glitter. Until then, I can start by painting the patterns in the watercolors. I have decided that these four frames will get some geometric patterns, while these four will get some butterflies. Starting with the butterfly frames, I'm using pink, purple and white to paint on various butterflies, including two larger kind of shadows on each frame, where the three-dimensional ones will be glued onto. Speaking of the three-dimensional butterflies, I really want all of the bigger ones to be the same shape, so I'm making a pattern that I can trace around and then fill all eight of them with some base colors. Whilst that dries, I can focus on the other four frames. These first two are heavily inspired by the alien carvings in Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., but my plan is to come back afterwards with a silver pen and draw over the paint to give it more depth. For the last two frames, I'm making rows of geometric patterns next to each other. With enough rows and a nice outer border, it looks like strips of lace, and they will get glittered as well. But now the butterflies are dried and I can paint on them. Four butterflies will have more intricate patterns, and the other four will be more simple, so each frame can have one of each. I'm also decorating four of the smaller butterflies to put onto the clips. I'm just choosing the ones I like best. And of course, all 12 painted butterflies will get glittered. But first I have to get some glitter, and there's a lot of glitter to choose from. This set doesn't have the right colors, and these bottles only come in silver. Then there are these multi-packs that could work, and up here is a pack with loads of pretty colors. But I don't think I'd actually use all of them, so I'll go with this package. It has silver and pink, what I was actually after. I also got a silver pen and some new white acrylic for the future. So now it's glitter time, but first I'll do some tests. This silver pen has quite a big tip, but with some effort I can make fine lines and it looks quite nice. 
For the glitter, I have this glue stick that was designed to spread glow evenly, but I can also grab some of that glue with the fine brush and put it where I want to. The glitter container was designed to be a shaker, but I'm instead using an old brush that I'll throw away afterwards to lift some glitter and place it onto the glue. And in an attempt to contain the glitter, I'm tapping the excess into the empty packaging. This method works good enough, but before I use it on the butterflies, I'll cut them out and fold them first. I do have to admit that I don't really have a clue what I'm doing, so this is all just trial and error. The first attempt was to dab the glitter on with the brush like before, but the brush would pick up the glue instead and get all sticky. The butterfly was good enough, but for the next one I tried shaking the glitter brush over the butterfly and dunking it in the glitter until I realized that the table got glittery anyway and abandoned the container. I'll just throw away the dirty table protector afterwards, taking the glitter with it. Then I tried just dunking the butterflies into the glitter for a while, until I realized the best way is to sprinkle the glitter over the top, whether that be straight from the bottle or picking it up with my fingers. So I did all of the silver glitter first, both on the butterflies and frames, before containing it as best as possible and starting with the pink glitter. Some butterflies get both colors of glitter and of course the frames get pink glitter as well. I almost forgot these two frames with the lace patterns. They also get glitter on the white lines and because this corner is a bit empty, I'm mixing the pink and silver glitter that is on the table to add some sparkle to that corner as well. I'm not adding glitter to the clips, so that even with the butterflies added, I can use them without getting glitter on my fingers. So now it's time to clean up this mess. And with the new clean table protector, it is time to draw on the other two frames with the silver pen. I am also painting on the clips that don't get butterflies. Now it's time to match up the clips to the frames before I spend some time figuring out which butterflies I want to be where. But I think I like this placement, so I can now glue them on one at a time with a hot glue gun, holding the wings in the shape I want them to end up in. Now it's finally time to remove the old purple drawings and figure out in which order I want to hang them up. But I'm not making new pictures today because I honestly don't know what to put in the frames. Additionally, it would be photos of friends and family, but I'm not doing that for obvious reasons, so please comment down below with any suggestions you have. Oh, I forgot to turn on the fairy lights, but while I'm in this area, I'm putting up the flower fairy on this side, and I also took down the Easter garland. I think it would look nice draped over the top shelf. Yes, it isn't Easter, but it fits in here nicely, and it isn't too Eastery. And the flapper dangly bits are finished. Next episode, I'm filling up the shelves and working on a surprise pet, so subscribe if you don't want to miss that. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and don't forget to let me know what to put in the picture frames. I'll see you next Melly Monday.